people who called 911 to report a kidnapping suspect was told they are not eligible for a Crime Stoppers reward. He was wanted for kidnapping and raping a seven-year-old girl. Their 911 call led to his arrest. <laughs> Fox Sports' Lori Brown has been working to get answers, and she's live in Dallas. Lori. Of course, having people spot a wanted fugitive and then call 911 to report him seems like one of the very reasons the Crime Stoppers Reward Program exists. But it turns out if you call 911 instead of the tip line, you don't qualify for that reward. We both looked at each other, and we both said, isn't that that guy. The Jordans were coming home from lunch July 7th when they noticed a face they recognized from the news and a Crime Stoppers billboard, 41-year-old Leonard Neal. He had on the same outfit as one of the pictures that was circulating on social media. With six children of their own, the Jordans had taken a good look at the man accused of abducting a nine-year-old boy and seven-year-old girl. Police say he released the boy, but the girl was missing for 12 hours. Police say he sexually assaulted her. That could have very easily been our oldest two kids. The Jordans did not just call police. Once Neil got on the bus, they knew they needed to follow it. After getting disconnected from 911, a Dallas police officer called Kenyatta Jordan. And once we turned, made their, um, that right on Pope, he said, oh, that's y'all in that, uh, that minivan. I'm like, yes, sir. He said, okay, well, we pulling up right behind you so y'all can get out the way now. Before police arrested Neil, he cut his throat. Police later released this mugshot. I felt confident that it was him, but I just wasn't 100%. But then I, left, I let the window down, and I heard him on her scream, and I said, that's him, baby. That's him. Later, the Jordans learned about the Crime Stoppers reward that had been offered for Neil, a most wanted fugitive. But when they asked about it, they were told they were not eligible because they called 911 instead of the Crime Stoppers number. Does it seem like a bait and switch? Yes. Yes, okay. absolutely. If we dialed 911 instead of the Crime Stoppers phone number, we're not able to get the reward. As police work to build trust with the community, the Jordans say this feels like a breach of that trust. It feels like we were misled. On DPD's website, it urged anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers or 911. Crime Stoppers is operated by the North Texas Crime Commission, a cooperative partnership. Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia told us in a statement, while DPD does not have input on the criteria that must be met for a Crime Stoppers reward, when a unique set of circumstances arises, we certainly can open up conversations that will help improve services, prevent crime, or help solve investigations in our city. The Jordans are hopeful that will happen in their case. They should be held to, um, their word. Hmm. Hmm. I just got off the phone with a Crime Stoppers board member. He said that the rewards are only paid to people who call the tip line based on Texas law. The Jordans believe they tried to search for that tip line number instead of just calling 911. Leonard Neal might still be on the run. We're going to be asking Texas lawmakers if it's time for the statute to change. I don't know your. I, let me say. Let me say this. I Go want ahead. to Go know ahead. your take on this because I'm pretty sure. Oh, I, know. I know what you're going to say. So can you go ahead share with the family? <laughs> no, I I I um I think it's uh it the if it's a law, if it's a law that you have to do that, it it's not needs a law. to be a rule. A rule, whatever, right? Statue, whatever. It it needs to be updated. I think oh. it needs to be updated. Yeah, I think it needs to be updated because if you if you the first thing people will do is call nine one one. Yeah, don't nobody have the Crime Stoppers you know saved in their phone? Come on, don't nobody okay. have that. Yes, and and if you're not in that area, you know what I mean. Like you're just uh, you can be out of town. You're just gonna dial nine one one. It's like, hey, look, this dude here was on the news, you know, on the run, and I see him. We're gonna call back to Dallas Crime Stoppers if he was in uh Tennessee. That makes and I like how would I know? How would I know back when <laughs> for Dallas? What they, you know what I mean? Like I need to let me, let me Google Crime Stoppers for Dallas and call that number if he was in Memphis and I was in Memphis. You see what I'm saying? Yes. I, I, I'm gonna go with you on this. Every every state that has Crime Stoppers and they offer those little rewards and things of that nature. It needs to be fixed because if you dial nine one one, 
you lead that tilt, then you should get paid. I know if, uh, like, when the FBI have they 10 most wanted and everything, people not writing those numbers down. They're going to call 911. But I bet you or, they don't pay. Or, or they can just transfer. 911 say, you know, um, oh, you have a, a tip for the, then they can just transfer it to, to uh, the Crime Stopper, whatever. The local. Now, that's just local. Now, yeah. if you're, like if he's in Memphis, they're not gonna the nine one one is not gonna know the Crime Stoppers in Dallas or yeah. I remember seeing something on uh on my YouTube feed or whatever about a person that may have kidnapped a child or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. it's too yeah. many layers. It's too many layers, and and the, um they won't know. You know what I'm saying? So I think nine one one is good enough, and they gave the tip, and that's it. That, that I think that's. You know, you can't you can't do they, anything. They're trying to save the save the Crime Stoppers money, but come on, that's just ridiculous. No, nah, no, nah, man. Yeah, I don't know who. Came and they look bad as a department. Yeah, not, yeah. not paying those yeah, individuals. Yeah. I mean, well, that, that, well, I'm pretty sure now they probably will try to find a way to do something. You know what I mean? Okay. Just yeah. to clear the name up now, since yeah. it's you know on, on Eyewitness News. You know what I mean? So yeah, 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 yeah. Too easy, man. All right, let's we got to know. Let's let's do it. Unless you got something else. You got something else? Okay. You know. <laughs> Uh -oh. What's this? Huntsville News is getting results. We first reported on Crime Stoppers' refusal to issue a reward to a couple who was key to Dallas police arresting a most wanted fugitive. Today, a Fox 4 viewer stepped up to do what he says Crime Stoppers failed to do. Fox 4's Lori Brown is live. Lori. Corey, a Fox 4 viewer told us that he knew he needed to do the right thing for a family that did not hesitate when face to face with a top 10 most wanted fugitive. We've been hearing a lot of thank yous and that we are heroes. We were there as Fox 4 viewer Cliff Freeman hand delivered a check to Kenyatta and Brianna Jordan. I know you guys have been through a lot and uh, I just want to tell you, I saw your story that Lori did on Channel 4, and uh, it just touched my heart. Freeman is a Dallas um, native and business owner. Did, what you guys did was put yourselves at risk, um, and uh, you took a bad guy off the street. And uh, you're my heroes for that. You're welcome. You sure can. Then Brianna Jordan saw the amount. For $5,000. Thank you so much. I'm trying not to <laughs> tear up out of her. Yeah. Well, I know everybody gonna see this. When I saw the story, I teared up, so it's okay. It's yeah. it's it's a good thing. It's, yes, it is. Tears of joy. The Jordans are parents of six young children. Seven, six, four, three, one, and six months. So when they saw reports that Leonard Neal was wanted for abducting a nine-year-old boy and seven-year-old girl and sexually assaulting the girl. They looked at his photo carefully. When they thought they saw him at a bus stop, they called 911. As Neil got on the bus, they followed it while talking to police. Before police arrested Neil, he cut his throat with a box cutter. The chair who oversees North Texas Crime Stoppers told us that the Jordans could not receive the reward because their tip went through 911 instead of their tip line. Freeman told us he believed the Jordan's actions were deserving of the reward anyway, which is why he provided the amount in full. I don't have Crime Stoppers number programmed into my phone, but I do have 911, and I guarantee a 911 is the first number that I'm going to call. Freeman said he wants to show the community that Crime Stoppers are not. When you do the right thing, the community will have your back. On top of that, uh, we were able to contact Six Flags. Six Flags is providing the Jordan family with tickets to attend the park. We want to help celebrate this with you, this this great thing that you guys have done, and Six Flags has also wanted to, to participate in that as well. We just need more heroes like you guys. It's a bliss. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Mm, you heard that, right? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Won't he do it? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ah. Cool, cool. So, this issue to his attention, Dallas Mayor Pro Tem Tanel Atkins began working to address the root of the problem so it doesn't happen again. He says he will have an announcement about a solution Tuesday. Yep. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Kane, what? That was a blessing, sir. That was what? a blessing, sir. That came from God? That, hey. God might have put it on that uh, individual's heart to do what he did and bless that family. And then 
one thing you know i got i was feeling a little bit um uh, as the canaanites would say i maybe got into my feelings a little bit uh because we saw that couple together doing it together family that's what i saw that was a beautiful thing that's how it's supposed to be but now it's a rare sighting that's a rare sighting so that was just a beautiful thing to me man it was beautiful yeah yeah it was good oh yeah it was, it, yeah it was great man it was uh they they got the money and but the the, the problem it, I mean, yeah, it was nice that they got the money. That you know, they the they didn't do it. They didn't do it for the money. They did it to you no, know keep their family safe. So yes. you know, the, the, so the money is just you know add to you know what I mean. You know, yeah, because guarantee nobody is looking for you know that. But if it comes along with the uh, you know doing a good deed, then I, I get it. I get it. Uh, but yeah, the the um, they just need to fix their you know that situation with the nine one one because everybody is going to call nine one one. Yeah, everybody's gonna call, and if they say it's a tip line, they can just transfer it to the local PD or something, you know, and let yes. them answer. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it, it, and that'll probably help. The, that's probably what it, the uh, chief is gonna end up doing or whatever down there. So yeah, man, yeah, yeah. I mean, I get it, man. They, you know, they they got it. You know, it, it, is it because they had six kids? Is that that's that's that makes it a blessing, or it, it can oh, be? Oh no, just, that was. Just but I, I didn't they, know if you brought the just because they got a lot of kids that means no, that, they, that, that was no, a good, they needed that or whatever no no okay it didn't matter if they okay. didn't have any kids at all it was still okay. a blessing that's all and then okay. you know the idea of the the six kids i love the big family aspect you know yeah. but yeah, yeah you don't if see they were just no no not mm -hmm. in this day and time no no you don't see it very oh, often at all so yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. so it was I, good yeah for sure Hey, they got the money. They, you know, finally somebody, you know, did step up and not the police department. But they'll get it together. I guarantee they'll get it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. And Six Flags, shout out to them for doing what they're doing, too. Yeah, that, that, that's just jumping on the bandwagon. That's what they Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they just want to put themselves out there like that and promote it. That's all. But, hey, mm -hmm. baby. For sure. Roger that. Stay tuned for outtakes. Well, the last thing is a, a spoiler alert. Um, a local uh, person that has a business, he ended up on behalf of his business, he paid that $5,000 to those people. Just a regular citizen that has a business. Mm -hmm. He ended up paying them the $5,000. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, See, for that it, situation? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Yeah, so that was a great. It that's, was a great. That's a good deal. tax. That's a good tax write off. That's a good tax write off. Mitch just stepped on my Look video. Okay. This, I mean, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You know. Uh oh. What's this? You know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them, all of them. 